To the human eye, Lake City, Iowa looks like most Siouxland communities, City Hall, Water Tower, and dusty streets. But to the ear, this community offers something unique, one of a kind, in fact, in Iowa. Since 1974, around two dozen professionals at the Dobson Organ Company have been designing and handcrafting pipe organs in this town of 1700. People are really surprised when the organs deliver. People are just amazed. They can't believe. I, I couldn't imagine we could have it built for this amount of money. It's just amazing how many parts and pieces, or that it'll even all go together. More than 100 organs. Hundreds of pieces that are shown on these various on these various drawings. Making music in small town churches and worldly cathedrals from Oxford, England to St. Thomas Church in New York City. I mean, an architect will prepare dozens or even hundreds of drawings to show all the various parts of a house. Um, and in the organ, it's the same way. We have all different mechanical systems that have to be uh, described. A six-figure masterpiece can start with just a thousandth of an inch of metal. Those are, numbers are in thousandths of an inch, so we see 30 thousandths and 35 and so on. Inside surface of the sheet, it has a kind of a spotted appearance. It's a natural occurrence when the metal is cast. And there can be thousands of pipes, ranging in size from as small as a pencil to as large as a utility pole. So when the pipes are made, they don't actually produce any sound. These are some trumpet pipes. They are called reed pipes, and they have inside a very small brass reed that has to have a proper curvature so that it, it vibrates in a way that has a, produces a nice round tone. All the pipes are stored in trays like this. This is what they look like when they're done. When the pipes are all finished, you can see each one is a different diameter and a different length has several things attached to it that help the pipe speak properly. No organ exactly like the one built before it, each with its own footprint. What we're seeing here are what we call toe boards. These are standing on end now, but they'll normally be horizontally. And every place that you see a hole, there will be a pipe standing there. This organ that we're building has over 1,800 pipes, so there are going to be 1,800 different holes here, all carefully fitted. On its own, a pipe is pointless, but linked to a key or foot pedal, it comes to life. Each one of these is connected to a key at the keyboard. Right here, we see the, the pedal keys, and we see the manual keys sliced right through the console. And the linkage runs down and under the floor, and then across up into the organ. So this is our wood shop. This is where all the wooden parts of the organ are made. The equipment that you'd find in here is what you'd see in any well-equipped cabinet shop. Timbers of mahogany, oak, cherry, walnut, and maple provide a home for the pipes or whistles. We use bone from cows. Cow bones are cut up to make the playing surface for the natural or white keys. And the sharps are, are ebony as, as in older days. And when the pipe makers, the voicers, draftsmen, and cabinet makers finish their work, it's on to the erecting room where these organs with pipes as tall as 32 feet come to life. What we're seeing here is the organ for St. Christopher's Church in Chatham, Massachusetts. As tall as this room is, we've had probably, I don't know, eight or ten organs that haven't fit in it because they've been larger than this room. Cables, connectors, linkage, and louvers all filling the massive cabinet. I mean, as woodworking goes, it's a really unusual thing because of its size. I mean, it's the same beautiful woodwork that you'd have on a beautiful piece of furniture. But then, you know, we're building it as big as a house, practically. Each organ with its own personality. And in a world filled with quick fixes and instant gratification, you could say the Dobson Organ Company in Lake City, Iowa, is a counterculture success story. To build something that you know is going to last for a century or more, everything's throwaway. Incredible sense of satisfaction of having built this thing that's going to last for a really long time.